Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is another episode of Exposed Mobility Impaired Denial. Um, I know that some of my videos I'm out and about doing things, or sometimes I just talk a lot, and vent, and yip yap, whatever. Um, this one, um, I still have some more letters to send out. I was frustrated. Um, I thought about giving up, but then I decided not to. So I'm keeping track who responds and also their response. Um, I have a very interesting response from the United States Post Service, the main office, uh, basically telling me that they only follow the American or the agricultural very, uh, excuse me, the Agricultural Burial Barrier Act of 1968, um, which does not require them to have automatic doors, but does require certain things that they need to have, such as um, handicapped parking, ramps, but the doors, you know, they don't have to have doors. They, they could even have step, and they it's a matter. So they tell me if you can't enter our building, our facilities, go online. And so I, I do do some online stuff. Like I order mailer stamps. I do um, my, I do all my posts and stuff online. And if I have to send out a parcel, you know, I pay for it online. And then I usually to the post office because you can't just put it in um, one of the blue box or the blue mailboxes um all the time you know there's a a weight and a letter thing but it really just depends i don't really send out a lot of parcels but when i do i have to do it or go myself or have somebody do it for me um I've sent letters to, and this is before the election at the time of this recording, the election was two days ago, or yesterday, two days ago. Uh, yeah, it was two days ago. So um, anyway, so I've had mail letters to senators and congressmen and senators um, and the governor of New York State. Um, when I sent my first letter, I never received a response. But then I sent a second, kind of more updated and detailing my mission um, and how I am more focused you know, exiting and entering, and especially entering public buildings, whether they are government, federal, state, local, um, privately owned, um, chain owned, whatever. If, uh, if the public can access it, I want to be able to access it too. I am part of the public. There are a lot of people that are mobility impaired and they are all part of the public. So those that are mobility impaired should be able to enter any building um, that is allowed for public access going to the store, whatever. Having a step up is not simple. Having a ramp to get into the building and having a door that will open that you don't have to open yourself, um, that is more helpful. Um, putting a sign out that you are handicapped accessible, but you have a step where you do not have automatic doors and I've seen buildings that have this, such as Dollar Tree, which they are one of the letters I've sent and they did not respond. But you can have a sign that says they're going to be accessible. And the funny part about that is my local, when I go there, they have two doors, a left one and a right one. The left one is always locked. And I didn't realize that until one time 
I was leaving the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree, excuse me, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. And the, the cash cashier, she said that she would open the door for me. And she opened the right door and then she unlocked the left hand side. Well, it's left when you're going in, it's right when you're going out. Uh, so one of the doors is always locked. For right handed people who have to maneuver with one hand, um, they need to be able to access something with their left hand and open the door so their left hand side is easier. And then, um, if but if they're right-handed, or their left hand, excuse me, they would have to do the opposite. So having both doors open and unlocked and them being automatic, just because someone opens the door for you does not mean it's easily accessible. Accessible? Yes. Kind of. Yeah. So anyways, so I've sent out letters. I've um, sent copies of the response I got from the post office to several congressmen and senators. Um, some of the senators have responded to the first letter. I have a whole bunch of more letters that I have to go out and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop. If you want to help write letters, let me know. And I can kind of, I, I can't give you my story, but I can give you the information I have, the legal stuff, the statutes and the acts and what we're, what I am trying to change, which is get rid of the America, the Agricultural Barriers Act of 1968. Take that and change it and put it in the American Disabilities Act and instead of it being in 2010, make it 2024, 2025. Change the act, reword it, make it so people, public buildings have to have some type of automatic door and without a step to enter or exit. Have a ramp. You know, if you're building new facilities. Anyway. That is my focus for that. And that's what my letters state. It gives a little bit of why I am in my situation. Because if you're just quoting statutes and things like that, they may think that that's you know, not that. So I try to put a little personal spin on it. Then I give them the facts. And then I let them know that... Um, I'm not an idiot, that I actually do know what I'm talking about. I even put in my um, college credentials. I didn't go back to school till I was 38 years old, but I got my bachelor's in English. I've got my master's in adult education. I also have an MBA and I have an accounting certificate. So very people who Yes, so technically I could do that. But I'm not. I mean, did that, so. Um, anyway. So, finally. I get those notifications in the mail to me. That's coming in the box. And I saw one that said, Executive State of New York. So I thought, well, this is exciting because I am getting a letter. I did. So, October 28th, 2024, from the Executive Chamber. You can see this, you can see, Pethiopo, yay. Not really. Dear Amy, thank you very much for writing to me and sharing your feedback. I don't think I was giving feedback, but maybe to ensure New Yorkers' voices are heard, it is important to listen to all perspectives. With your help, we will continue to move our state forward and create stronger, safer, and better communities for future generations. 
what the heck does that mean? I'm not stupid, but this has nothing to do with the letter I sent. Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of get a little irritated when people, um, I'm just getting basically form letters from someone's secretary. And I don't even know if this is really her signature or not, or a stamp or whatever. It's hard to say. It looks like blue marker. But I don't know. So, yay, governor of New York State. And though I do vote, I don't discuss my politics or my position on that because, well, any you know, you see what that has done to this world. Um, I just want people to do their job and I want people to look at their communities, the places they live, the people, the individuals that make up the communities it doesn't matter if um, gender or non-gender, race, you know, who you love, no. You just, you need to look at individuals and their needs and then also the needs of the community. Now, if my need for an automatic door hindered someone else, then and I mean like a person can't get in and out. Not just because someone didn't like it or they would have to spend money, you know, creating um, an automatic door. You know, that's one. But if my views were hindering someone else, um, you know, in some other demographic, and I don't know, I'm a white woman, in a wheelchair, big deal. My sexual orientation, gotta have a partner to really have that. So that's quite a lot. Anyways, so, and no, I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm alone. I mean, I'm not part of a couple. But I am part of my family, and I have my sons and my daughter who support me and support the things that I do, and they help me. And they have lives of their own, which I am so grateful for, and yet they still like being around their mother, which it, it means more than they could ever imagine. Yes, I am women, but that's fun. And sometimes I feel like a burden and they yell at me for it. And I apologize too much. And just stop apologizing. Just be who I am. So I do that. So then I, anytime I get a letter, I share it with them. And he said, oh, yes, please. I got it. And then you can read it. And they're like, what the heck does that mean? And I'm like, I don't know. So, Governor Hochul, I guess you don't read your mail. And I can understand because you are the governor, you have more important things. You probably do have somebody that actually reads your mail. And that person just failed me. Uh, so thank you but I'm not going to stop writing letters and if I have to keep sending letters to the current governor and any future governor I will do that heck I might even send letters to the new president of the United States This has been Amy Shannon for Exposed Mobility Care Denied. And I apologize for my 
frustration, my raising of my voice, and for anything, if I had said anything in this message or any of my messages that have insulted anyone, I do apologize for that because that is not my intent. My intent is to help others. It's been all my life, all I want to do is help others. And I do that. I have a lot, I wear a few different hats. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, and I like to help other people. And I would like to make my life just very easier than it actually is. So thank you for watching. And please, if you're interested in more videos, click subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Feel free to leave a comment. You can visit my website. Um, my, the links are all on my, this YouTube page. So um, thank you very much. And talk to you next week.